Looks like we got a stalker. Just drove in the... Stopped at my property. In front of my driveway, in that direction. Turned around and now it's in the other direction. Not asking me anything. Not saying anything. Just park there. Watch. Look at that stalker. Black windows. Look at the coward. Show your face, loser. I think that was Scarlet Marks. I was raking leaves by my driveway, closed the gate, and then she pulls up and just stays there. She says that she caught me flipping her off. Just bullshit. I'm raking leaves, picking up branches and stuff. She's such a liar. I didn't even know who it was. Could have been somebody interested in my property. The windows were closed. So I go pick up my branches. You can see here, this is what I've got here. I'm picking up branches, getting my garbage pail. So the vehicle drives in that direction. And I'm still picking up branches and stuff. And then she turns around in the other direction and parks here again. Finally rolls down the window and says that I flipped her off. She's such a liar. Here she comes again. This is how sick these people are. Very sick. That's Scarlet Marks, everybody. That is Scarlet Marks. Three times. I don't know. She. Who do you think is uh, up in the running? Mary Perky or Scarlet Marks? Who's top of the list? Please leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear your feedback. So that was Scarlet Marks, everybody. That's my neighbor who threatens my worker who wanted to duke it out with me on the county road, whose son uh, gave me the middle finger while I was retrieving my mail. She just accused me of flipping her off. She says, oh, I got it on camera. You don't have anything on camera because I, my back was towards you and I'm picking up branches on my property, loser. You're such a liar. They're all liars. But anyway, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading bringing you one criminal at a time. That by the way, was Scarlet Marks. And we're going to hashtag Richard Moore on this, so, you know, he might like to utilize. Here she comes again. Watch, guys. Here she comes again. Four times a charm. Four times is a charm. Yeah, and like I said, everybody around here needs to lose at least 15 pounds, and she's not excluded from that category. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the way, I don't know, She maybe she's 40 years old at this time, maybe she's in her mid-40s, I don't know. I don't really care. I don't like my neighbors, and I'm the kind of person where if I don't like you, I just won't have anything to do with you. I mean, unless it's a work situation where I'm kind of forced to interact. Other than that, no, I, I will not have anything to do with somebody that I, I don't like or want to be around. I don't want that negative energy. And you saw what that negative energy was. And this is these people. They're so unbelievable. I haven't said one word to her in the four times that she drove by. Not one. I'm going about my business the way I usually do. I'm busy here. Look, I'm towing all this bitchcraft. Yeah, most of this stuff was knocked down overnight. I already cleaned all of this up yesterday. I brought it all to the fire pit. Can't burn anything, everything's too wet. But I brought it all to the fire pit. And then overnight, there's more everywhere. I've got stuff all over my driveway that I had to rake up. And then I encounter this bitch. Uh, she must be pissed off. She might have seen what's on the Facebook page. Uh, she's banned from the Facebook page. But what she did, is she signed on to the Facebook page through her underaged son. 
and I put restrictions on him. And he's a good boy. I have to tell you, she's got one good kid <laughs> that I'm aware of, okay? He's a very nice, young, uh, younger boy. And um, he's very intelligent also. I don't know where he came from. He must have come from different parents. But um, hopefully he's not going to get corrupted by these two. But um, so she signed on the Facebook page that I created for the city. Um, I guess it was last year. I wanted to memorialize the former owner who had lived here, built this little village. And he was a member of the community for 30 years, just the way I was in Manalpa, New Jersey. And allegedly, allegedly, everybody thought he was beloved. But they have no problem stealing from him since I moved here or vandalizing the buildings that he built with his own hands. They have no problem doing that. So these were the alleged friends of the former owner. But meanwhile, like I said, I haven't said one word to her today. I have no interest in speaking to her. And it's sort of like, you know what they tell you to don't talk to the police? I'm not going to talk to my neighbors. I have no reason to talk to them. They've re received cease and desist letters. She'll be receiving another one. Uh, she can't file a complaint against me. I haven't said a word to her. I'm actually on my own property. I've never, I don't even know where she lives. Is that ridiculous? I know she lives down the block, but I have no idea where because I don't drive in that direction. I drive in the opposite direction if I have to go into town. So yeah, I have no idea even where she lives. She can never say I'm stalking her. I've never been near her house. I have no idea where she lives. And I don't speak to her. I have no interest. She is an idiot. She's out of control, just like my other neighbor. Now, the difference is, at least my other neighbor had a reasonable reason to hate me. They were wanted to steal my property because it connects to theirs. But Scarlett, I have no relationship to her. She's all the way down the block. When I say block, it's like, this is rural area. You know, it's like several miles down, maybe a few miles down. So I have nothing to do with her. Zero. So she's the one that obviously has a problem. She and her husband have a problem. Maybe they wanted to buy this property before I moved here and they couldn't. You know, they do have a, a large family, but from what I understand, they've got a large property too. I mean, how much do you need? How much do you need, really? So anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you got to witness the gang stalker, the community harassment stalker, the one who keeps throwing out the sheriff's name. Now, uh, this sheriff is a little bit better than the old sheriff, but there is a huge conflict of interest. And the conflict of interest is that um, he has a relationship, not only with Scarlett and Eddie Marks, but their daughter. I think it's, I think it's the only daughter they have. Uh, so I don't know how old she is. Maybe she's 18, 19, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her name or anything. Actually, I don't know if I, if I even have it on my phone. But, hello babies. But yeah, so he's in a relationship with the daughter. So he obviously knows what Scarlett and Eddie Marks do. I'm sure, you know, they sit around the dinner table and if, they're, if my name pops up, which I'm sure in a bit invariably does, she'll go tell the sheriff what she does and doesn't do to me. But she had the audacity to just lie and say, like I gave her the finger or whatever she said. I, would, I don't know the terminology, but that's false. It's totally bullshit. As you can see, I've been picking up branches. I didn't even know who was in the vehicle because the windows were closed. And actually it's all on this recording. You can see it for yourself. But anyway, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. I've got to get these branches to the burn pit, even though they can't be burned. At least they'll go out when the sun comes out and dry it up a little bit, better than just hanging out on the driveway. But I'm going to sign off for now. I hope everybody's doing well on this Monday. 
please remember to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel grow, get the message out there. And thank you everybody for listening to the, the interview with Richard Moore. It went over time because we had to start up three times. That's why like, I seem like a little discombobulated because um, I actually had to wait because of the time zone issues. Um, we, we didn't click initially. So I was standing around waiting for a half an hour um, because of the time zones is issue. And then um, once we got started, the sound started freaking out. Uh, the voices were not syncing. And then suddenly we were disconnected. So I guess the perps did not want us recording the video, but this happened three times. So it absolutely happened three times. So by the time we finished the interview, um, I was exhausted. I had things to do. And, um, but I'm grateful. I'm very grateful that we were able to get the information out there. It also helps other people that live in Kentucky. And there are other people that live in Kentucky, people that have contacted me already. So um, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to sign off for now.